This first lecture is entitled Gardens of God, uh, Part 1, The Correlations Between Genesis Taxa and Paleontological Remains. Okay, there's three paleontological phenomena that, uh, that have uh, occurred uh, recently, um, that have been observed in, in the paleontological record and the geological uh, stratigraphy. One is the overlap of fossils from alleged geological eras. The second is the regular associations between the corpus of plants and animals. And the last is the association of plants and animals from uh, in different geolog uh, geographical areas. So let me uh, talk about these one after the other. The first, what we're describing here, uh, the first paleontological uh, phenomenon is the overlap of fossils. Fossils are uh, showing up in areas and in stratigraphy where they weren't supposed to be. Um, and uh, the, uh, one of the, the most interesting phenomena uh, today is that mammals, and, and the, the three different uh, uh, paleontological eras, or the geographical eras, and I'm just going to give you kind of the, the elementary version of it. At the very bottom most layer, the evolutionists say the Paleozoic occurs, and these have the amphibians. Then you have the Mesozoic, and this is the age of the dinosaurs. And then on top of that, you have the Cenozoic, which is the age of the mammals. But what, what they're finding is that the more paleontology that is done, the more they're finding mammals in the alleged age of the dinosaurs. And this is a wonderful chart right here. Because it shows in 1830 and 1850, while Darwin was doing his Origin of Species, absolutely zero mammal species had been found in Mesozoic strata. So there were zero, zero uh, mammals that had been found in uh, dinosaur, the dinosaur layer. Contrast this with today, with improved paleontological techniques and retrieval techniques. There is now, in 2007, 310, not species, but genre, the next level up. And when you look at this, this is a shocking number, because there's only four, about 540 dinosaur genre in all paleontological strata in the Mesozoic. And the conclusion is, in the next several decades, you'll actually have more mammals in the age of the dinosaurs, in the strata belonging to the dinosaurs, than dinosaurs themselves. And this is a shocking, it's, it, it's almost wonderful, but it, this is expected by creationists because the creationists uh, expect everything to kind of be mixed together. And so, you know, when you find a, a, a fossil that's in alleged earlier stratigraphy or hanging out with the dinosaurs, evol uh, creationists expect this. Evolutionists, it's hard for them to account for this fact, especially because of the increasing numbers. Every time you go to a paleontological site, and every time you have the, uh, the Journal of Paleontology, it's this new bombshell that, that has occurred. Um, but still there is another phenomenon that uh, is occurring, and the, that other phenomenon, next slide please, is... Um, you find certain animals and certain plants clustered together in the stratigraphy. So even though in the Mesozoic, uh, the age of the dinosaurs, you find a lot of different types of mammals, if you were to look at it in terms of number of dinosaurs to number of mammals, yes, you have different types of mammals, but you have thousands upon thousands of dinosaurs and a lot fewer individuals of mammals. So what you have is you have a correlation between certain types of plants and certain types of animals. Yes, there is animals that are being found out of their stratigraphy, mixed together in areas that were previously thought not to exist, but still you find a correlation between certain types of plants and certain types of animals. And we're going to go through every single uh, uh, strata or geological era to 